Hey guys, Anime West Reacts here. This is going to be a review for Sachiro in a one room. I'm doing this kind of differently since I'm doing this off my phone rather than the Crunchyroll manga site because it won't load for me on the computer. So, yeah, so the chapter starts off with Yashiro getting a call from Matsuoka. Or, yeah, Matsushiba, not Matsuoka. Sorry about that. But yeah, he gets a call from him, pretty much answers the phone, gets his kind of ear blasted off by Matsu. Matsubase. I don't know why I keep messing his name up. But yeah, Matsubase yelling at him, like, where are you, pretty much. So he explains, or, yeah, says. You saw the news, didn't you? Do you understand what's going on here? And he says, I'm sorry. And then Mester takes the phone from him, pretty much says, give me that, please. <laughs> and then he asks him pretty calmly, like, tell me where you are, please. And so, yeah. Yashiro, I think, is something like that. I'm not sure about it. But he says, oh, well, some stuff happened. I'm in the forest now. And then tells them that he tells Mr. he got separated from Sachi and he's like what? And then Mr. her Yashiro says I'm sorry she was just with me but and then Yash or Mr. says got it don't move and then he says okay and then he says don't say a word just send your location info to Matsubase's cell and then he says Mr. says, you're not that far away, but is that place even somewhere people go? And he says, or Yashiro says, I don't know. <clears throat> there are signs that people have been here, and then Mr. says, got it. And then he says to Matsubase, or he tells Yashiro that he's got Matsubase hostage. Do you move or call the cops? I'll kill him. If you don't want that, then stay put. Don't move a muscle. And <laughs> Yashiro's just like, oh, okay. And then Matsubasa's is like, well, are they okay? And he says, pretty much tells him what happened. Says, Sachi and your assistant got separated. Matsubasa is like, huh, that idiot. And Mr. just says, come with me, please. We're going to go look for them. And he's just like, oh, okay. Matsubasa says, you're very calm. You were freaking out a moment ago, and then he says, Mr. says, now that I know where they are, I'm relieved. We just have to find them. <coughs> Excuse me. This isn't the first time this has happened. We better hurry. And so they get to where Yashiro is. He's just sitting in place pretty much like uh, Mr. told him. And then Matsubasa is like, oh, there you are. It's cold. So he says, Matsubase-san, you're really, you're fine, you're here, finally. And then Matsubase yells at Yashiro, saying, what the hell have you been doing, moron? He says, I'm sorry. And Matsubase is like, sheesh, I have a lot of things I want to say, but let's find Sachi first. Where did you lose her? And then Mr. just doesn't say anything, it's just like, dot, dot, dot. And then Yashiro says, I turned around here, and she was gone. The mister like shines light over this edge pretty much and he's or mm, pretty much home. Matsubase and Yashiro are talking in the background, so did you think about the fact that she can't keep up with you? And then one of them says, I'm sorry, I looked everywhere around here, but there was no answer. Matsubase says, Fine for now, and then they look over and see Mr. jumping down the like the hill pretty much that Sachi fell down. And then they're Matsubasa's like, hey, mask. So yeah, he lands pretty much as thinking there's a lot of leaves a lot of leaves in this pile. If someone fell, they wouldn't be that badly hurt. These footprints are new. I knew it, she fell down here, and then he looks around, sees all the like the equipment, like the ropes and stuff hanging from the trees. Then we transition over to Sachi as she's walking around the place thinking these ropes they're for hanging, right? I saw the I saw a lot of them online. 
can't believe so many people besides me wanted to kill themselves. And then she notices someone's here, and it's that girl we met in the last chapter as she's like wrapping her scarf around the tree branch. <clears throat> and then Sachi is thinking, what's she doing here as she steps on a steps on a branch which alerts the lady and she's like, who's there? Turns around and she's like, huh. See Sachi. The lady says, are you that person from before? Wow, you're a girl. Huh. I thought you were a boy because of, it was because of how Sachi like, had her outfit pretty much. She looked like a guy. And so the lady asks her what she's doing here and says, you ran off. Did you get lost? And then she says, remember what I said. A lot of people are rumored to kill themselves here in this forest. This is, a, this is where they do it. Sachi's like kind of looking at her weirdly. The lady says, thanks for helping me back there, for getting rid of that guy. I felt a lot better. And it goes into explaining what or who he was or her life, I guess. <clears throat> or she says, a kid with a little teeny knife was all it took to scare, scare the pants off him. What a loser. He's supposed to be a grown-up. That guy is my husband, you see. So yeah, Sachi pulling the knife, pulling the knife on the guy pretty much scared him off. <clears throat> and so she says that that's her husband. She says my dad was a single father, so I didn't want him to worry about me. I accepted an arranged marriage offer. That was the guy I married. He was the one who did this to me. As she like points to like her cheek, where she has like a band aid. <clears throat> of course, she says, I lied when I said I tripped. He loves his mom. So he got married because his mom told him to, I guess. So whenever I do the chores, even the slightest way different than his mom, he gets violent. And then she says, but I was the one who decided to get married, so I just accepted it until my dad passed away. I wasn't able to be there when he died. Do you know why? Sad to put his mom's birthday first, you see, so yeah, it's pretty messed up. So yeah, she says, his mom has a big birthday party every year with a lot of people, and he wouldn't let me leave until I had the preparations ready. Couldn't even take the, couldn't even take the call telling me my dad was almost gone because I was busy getting ready for, for the birthday party. My dad died without me even getting to go see him. And Sachi says, or she like thinks, oh, like she's noticed something, and she's the lady's talking, saying, I endured all the beatings and the pain. I was trapped that I was so trapped that I couldn't even be at death, the deathbed of my family. And then Sachi's thinking, this is what I felt back then. And the lady says, and I just stopped caring. And Sachi is kind of like narrating in a way of. She says, like, oh, this is what I felt back then, those empty eyes that are indifferent to me. It's like talking to a stray cat. And then she says, I get it. And then she's like, says, she's like me before I met Mr. Never coming back. So that's what she meant. She wasn't coming to the shrine. She was coming here. She came here to die. And then the lady says, sorry for talking so much. I just wanted somebody to hear me. You know, I think I have seen you actually on the news today. And so obviously that makes Sachi freak out and back away pretty much. Because people aren't like, supposed to know about her, obviously. The lady says, kidnapping, was it? If you're out here, does that mean you ran away instead? It's fine. Don't look. It's fine. Don't look like it's the end of the world. I'm not going to call the cops on you. Is the guy you were with your kidnapper? He looked pretty wimpy. Are you going to be okay? But I'm jealous. You're still young. <clears throat> you won't go to jail no matter what you do. You're a minor with no responsibility. The adults that deceived you will get to, will get punished. Even if you fail, you can start over from zero. Unlike an adult like me, I'm jealous. I'm so... The lady is like, I'm jealous. I'm so jealous. And then Sachi says, oh, again. And then she thinks back, and she says, I remember jealousy. 
this feeling that's that I thought I'd stuff deep down in the depths of my indifference. This feeling is, and then she says, I'm so jealous. Jealous of the people having fun, jealous of the happy people, jealous of the people who aren't jealous of others. And she's thinking back to like when she was like kind of walking around thinking, I'm why am I the only one? In my heart, I was so jealous of everyone. I thought I'd put the lid on those feelings. Don't make me remember all that. So she pulls out the box cutter and says, Say another word and I'll kill you. And then the lady's like, Obviously, you do that for me. Thanks. I came here to die after all. So yeah, like, came here to die, so you killing me actually benefits me in a way. <laughs> and then Sachi is thinking, If I hadn't met Mr., I know what would have happened, and then you have her kind of like walking into a river, and she's thinking, if Mr. doesn't appear for her, if she has no happiness coming, then like it was for me then, and Sachi is like about to attack her, or she goes to attack her, and she's thinking she might be happier if someone killed her, but then Mr. shows up, grabs Sachi's arm, causing her to Drop the box cutter and says, he says, I finally found you. So Sachi's like, Mr., what what are you doing here? And then the lady says, Mr., I see, so you're the kidnapper. And then he says, obviously, none of your business. And then she's like, huh, why are you mad? I'm such a sad, poor woman. Normally you're supposed to make me feel better, right? <clears throat> then he picks up the box cutter and says... Not interested in whether you're sad or not. Die if you want. I won't stop you, but you don't seem to be completely in despair yet. You're waiting deep in your heart for someone to save you, right? I think they'll be here soon. Maybe you should wait a little longer if you want someone to stop you. And then she's just like, huh? Like, what? <laughs> and Mr. says, you'll only meet someone who will save you if you're still alive. And he's like, let's go, Sachi. And she says, yeah. And they turn around and proceed to walk away, leaving the lady with the box cutter. And she's like, wait for what? I don't care. I'll just die. But then someone grabs her hand, and it's Yashiro saying, what are you doing? And then she's like, you're that man from before. The wimpy looking one, she calls him. And he thinks wimpy. And it says, Sachi said that too. Do I look that weak? <laughs> <clears throat> but then I guess Matsubase shows up. And he's like, oh, we were just going for a walk and we found a woman trying to commit suicide. We got a strong sense of justice. We can't let that happen. I'll, I'm willing to hear you out. If you want to die, why not die after you talk to us? So yeah, the people that are going to save her, like Mr. said. And so him and Mr. Or, or him and Sachi are walking through the woods, and Sachi says, How did you know where I was? And he says, I was walking up the cliff, but there were fewer and fewer places you could to put your feet, so I came down instead, and there you were. <clears throat> and then he says, You realize, Sachi. And then he says, Why do I keep going after you time and again? If, and then he's like, kind of going into like a monologue type thing. He's like, asking her, why do I keep coming after you time and time again? If you're, we've just got shared interests, there's no need for that. And she says, mister. And then he says, shared interests can't explain this. Am I going crazy? I just wanted to stand at the bottom of hell, living alongside another person. Who is like me? I've never considered anybody but them to be special, and I didn't want to. Because people will always die some right, or someday right, and leave me. So I wanted to die before that one person appeared. But if you're really not going to leave me, then I'm willing to tell you about myself. And he says he was called Haru when he was a child. You see... Sachi say Haru, and then he says, it wasn't my real name, it was because I was found on the spring day by them. And so yeah, that's a chapter, so pretty good one. Um, yeah, it bit, felt a bit weird to record like that.
poor girl reading it off a tome, but... So yeah, this whole Sachi getting lost in the mountain situation seems to have been completed, and now we seem to get Mr. telling Sachi about his past, pretty much. I think is what she's been curious about, like, he actually kind of brought up the whole thing of, like, why are we together, pretty much, if it's just simply, like, common interest, then why do I feel this way is kind of what it felt like he was trying to say. <clears throat> but, overall, I thought this was a pretty good chapter. Hope you all enjoyed the reaction, if you did, or reaction, video, whatever you want to call it. And, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment on the video, subscribe for more anime reaction reviews and manga reviews. Check out the links down below. Do stuff like my Twitter, Twitch, and Discord, and I will see you all next time. So, yeah, later.